Okay, it's Memorial and Sentimental Jewelry. Now, the first thing people gravitate towards there is towards the death aspect of it. But actually it symbolises collecting someone's life and having something to remember someone by. My you know, field of expertise is from the period 1500 to 1920. And this period shows the rise and fall of the mourning and sentimental jewellery industry. And I've got about mm, 600 plus pieces based all around that. Now the black enamel symbolises death. So it's a post-mortem piece and it was for a man named James Henry Hart and that's written on the back there. Okay. Now, this was made in 1840. So this has survived all those years through the family and it's made itself, you know, get into my hands through however which means. But the thing is, I'm a caretaker for these jewels. I don't actually own them. I'm just someone who cura curates them through time. And to me, that's the most important thing.